Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport 3. Today is episode number 39. If you want to help support the channel, then leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe, and feel free to check out the other videos in the Forza Mega Series. Now let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. If you want to get cheap game keys for Xbox, PlayStation or PC, then check out Eniba in the description down below. All right, so we are now here for uh, the Puma 150 horsepower runoff. Shut up, Bixby. The Puma 150 horsepower runoff. Uh, this is obviously Puma sponsor. Uh, this is limited to F-Class and 150 horsepower, which actually makes it a little more difficult because when you compare this to Motorsport 1 and 2, uh, it was only power restricted. So you could max out every other aspect of performance, like handling, weight, stuff like that, to make your car more powerful in those weight restrictions, which made it a lot easier to do those. In this, you are actually fully limited by your car class and also power at the same time, which is kind of interesting. Um, so the Citroen C4, we've got exactly 150 horsepower for this one. Um, and we're going to be starting off with Sunset Peninsula, Ladera Test Track, New York Circuit, Sedona Raceway, and then Maple Valley Raceway. And a huge welcome to Hans, who's just joined the chat as well. Watch him as he goes. I love this song so much. I don't know if anyone's seen it. Right. There is a video, sort of going around Twitter, going around everywhere. We're in third place now. Honestly, I have no clue how the positioning works in this game. Because I thought it was just based off of level, because it seemed to be, but... You know. Clearly not. That was a valid point, Hans. But then again, the entire world is surrounded by water, so... <laughs> um, but yeah, there was a... Uh, I love the fact that we're now in really slow cars again. Not. Sarcasm, obviously. Um, yeah, one of the problems that I... What was I saying? Completely lost track. Oh yeah, this song. So, there was a video... Um, it was sort of part of a MTV fundraiser thing. They sort of saved one song from the Taylor Hawkins tribute concert. And because obviously, if you don't know, Taylor Hawkins, he passed away. The drummer from Foo Fighters, absolute fucking brilliant guy he was. Um, but yeah, they got his son, Shane Hawkins, to actually do... Um, basically drum one of the songs and it was honestly amazing it's enough to make anyone cry it was fucking spectacular it's a brilliant brilliant video and i'm looking to the sky to save me come on go i like rocking backwards and forwards in my chair one thing I will say, though, um, these races have instantly ramped up from being like four minutes long to eight minutes long by the looks of it. Mm. Fair enough. <laughs> I'm in the middle of Europe surrounded by the Alps. Doesn't the Alps have a lot of water? It's got snow on there. Just take the snow and melt it, you know? <laughs> Try. This was a weird music video. Because they basically just got Dave Grohl to just sit. And basically pretend to be every single part of a flight crew. The air hostess. Pretty funny. Pilot. Everything. Brilliant. I would just casually grab a car full of water. Yes, drive your car. 
into the snow and just use it as a scoop. Scoop up that water. That frozen flaky water. <laughs> Me, I can't climb, make it alone. Look how weird the speedo is in this. I think so, Hans. I think so. Again, it's it's not fresh in my mind, obviously. But yeah, I think it's the one where it's just the same guy, but plays every single part on the plane. Foo Fighters made some of the best music videos out there. I love the Foo Fighters. I just hope they don't stop making music, because... Dave Grohl is just fucking, like, one of the most talented. One of the most talented artists out there. Chicks with his face are kind of hot. <laughs> I, I don't even know how many times Dave Grohl's put on a wig and pretended to be a woman in a music video. It's a lot. I think Taylor Hawkins did it as well a couple of times. I wouldn't I wouldn't be able to know without actually looking. No. Joel, this is really weird. The fact that I've just hit the five minute mark in this race and we're nowhere near done. <sighs> Lovely. No. <laughs> Not at all. <laughs> Not at all. Yeah, the, um, the trends that you see a lot of the time nowadays are just ridiculous. Um, modern day society is just completely fucked. And, do you know what? Right, when you look at other countries like Russia... Okay, Russia's a bad example. Um, but you look at, like, Russia, Romania... Anywhere other than the UK and the US... They're fairly normal societies. And then you look at the UK and the US and you just look... and Because the UK and the US are very similar societies. And you can just tell. As two nations, we've failed as a society. Completely. Boop, 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 boop. times like these America is worse sure a lot worse but in terms of how here's the thing the UK and the US are very accepting countries which means it's easy for you to sort of fit in no matter what you're into or what not but that also opens a whole can of worms for just ridiculous shit. Like a crazy can of worms. Oh my god, we're done with the first race. I've just realised for this entire stream we're in slow cars. Fuck! We're all in F-class cars for the entire stream today. This is going to be so slow and tedious. Oh, wow. I like it. 
Not bad. Uh, so we now got a 10% on springs and damp dampers upgrades by Intrax. As these are available on cars made by Alpha, Citroen, Fiat, Lancia, Maserati, Peugeot, and Renault. Not bad. Slow car does equal more content. Agreed. It's already getting dark outside. But luckily, in seven minutes, my lights will automatically turn on. So, result. Yeah, so why don't you have uh, VODs on your stuff anymore, hands? Also, maybe it was just that one race that was really slow. Because, I mean, we're doing this race a minute a lap at the moment. And we've only got six laps. So maybe it was just that one. Me OBS doesn't save them for Twitch. Um, you have to go into... So VODs don't... Yeah. VODs aren't done by Twitch. They're done by... Sorry, they're not done by OBS. They're done by Twitch. So if you go through your channel settings... Um, I can have a look and try and one-hand this a second. Uh, so if you go to um, your dashboard, your Twitch dashboard, um, if you go to the settings tab, um, there's sort of a drop down box, gives you some options. You click on stream and there are two options there. So the first one is copyrighted audio warnings, which means every time a copyrighted song is detected um, it will unpublish it so that's why your settings have changed all of a sudden potentially um, and then below that there is the VOD settings um, where it can automatically save your VODs how the hell has that happened I'm gonna rewind that I don't even know how that happened it just kept turning right yeah, look. Much better. Yeah, so you've got the store pass broadcast, which will always store them and save them for 60 days, pretty much. Um, if you've got Prime, Turbo, or are a Twitch par partner. And then you have the always publish auto setting as well. There you go. Yeah, so that, that's probably why. Um, but normally you'll get an email saying that they've detected copyrighted audio and that they've um, automatically stopped publishing VODs automatically. I think that makes sense. So yeah. Oh. oh god. They do that just out of safety, really. On your safety. But you can disable it, so it will just it won't do anything. 
and it will always publish. So I have that set up so that it sends me the alerts, but it never publishes just so that I can pick what VODs I want going up. Because to be perfectly honest, I don't want the Forza content to be saved on Twitch. Because if you've got it on Twitch and then you've got it on YouTube, I, I want if uh, people are wanting to watch this stuff in the future to watch it on YouTube. If you're watching it live, watch it live. But uh, if you're watching this in the future, I want it to be watched on YouTube only because that gets the... Uh, helps with, like, my YouTube viewership, so... Ah, fair enough. Sometimes they do it, sometimes they don't. Might not have sent you a message. I don't want to look like that. You know you make me break out. Make me break out. I don't want to look like that. You know you make me break out. Come on, turn, buddy. To think that this car is lighter than a lot of modern day cars now. Yeah, so that makes sense, Hans. Makes sense. Obviously, all of this stuff that's going on YouTube doesn't have any music in it, but the Twitch stuff does. Do you know what I might do? I may add this entire album and save this entire album to my stream playlist. We got another 10 grand there. Blah, 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 blah. So, um, it's been a couple of days now. Um, and since, obviously, at the time of recording this, by the time this goes out, I think this will be episode 39, episode 40, so. Pretty much, majority of what I'm about to say is fairly invalid, but if we... At the time of recording this, episode 6 has gone live. So we've got 7 videos um, for the Forza Motorsport 3 series. And so far, out of the Motorsport 1, the Motorsport 2, and now the Motorsport 3 series, the first two videos... So... Obviously, for Motorsport 1 and 2, has all just been Episode 1. But for Motorsport 3, we obviously did Episode 0, or the introduction. And then did um, the first episode. And I'm not even joking, the most successful... If you work it out, we've got over 70 views so far on that first video. Um, for the Motorsport 3 series, which smashes every other, like, the Motorsport 1 series, the Motorsport 2 series. They've been smashed out of the park completely. Motorsport 1 and 2's first videos combined, I don't even think is... Actually, no. No, that's that's more, but... I think Motorsport 2 only had 50 for the first episode. Motorsport 1 has 40 or 60 one or the other. I don't know the exact numbers, but I know for a fact Motorsport 3 in less than a week has gotten more views than either of those videos have. And most of those were just over time rather than um, you know, instantly. So, huge thanks to everyone that has been watching because honestly, that is crazy. That is good for me. Um, seeing, seeing those um, videos do those numbers and out of the ordinary, the fact that they have done much better. I mean, Motorsport 3 series in general has been outperforming all of my expectations completely. Um, typically when I'm uploading a video now, I'm seeing it get like 15, 20 views within the first 24 hours. I don't really check up too much on the later 
end of videos life cycles. I normally only really check up on the first 24 hours. Um, because that's all I can really see without doing a deep dive. But when you actually go back and look over some of the older Forza ones, like the Forza Most War 1 playthrough we did a couple of months ago, that's been looking pretty good numbers even now. So hopefully this entire Motorsport 3 playthrough will do very well on the channel. Uh, along with Motorsport 4, I have, I have a feeling Motorsport 4 is going to do even better. I hope it does even better. But uh, Motorsport 4 does have a lot more content, a lot more stuff to do. It's a lot more well received. I mean, when you look at numbers for uh, as a comparison between Motorsport 2, 3 and 4, or in fact, all of the Motorsport games. Um, Forza Motorsport 4 is the most sold game in the first week in terms of outright sales. Um, obviously, Horizon 4 and 5 are counted in that category, but the only thing that counts for those games were, you know, outright sales, not Game Pass downloads, because... If you were to count Game Pass downloads, I think Forza would have smashed any game out of the park. It's like 10 million in the first week, something ridiculous like that. But, um, yeah. Motorsport 4 is a super popular game. And I'm very excited to play that on the channel and see how that performs. Seems that all they ever wanted was a brother. Watch some Motorsport 3. Imagine if Forza Motorsport was like a sim racer, but like an arcade style sim racer. So you just end up with this like really over the top like super monkey ball kind of voiceover ready go <laughs> how fucking brilliant would that have been they definitely should have done that for some of the showcase events that um that they did this is a call to all my last resignations this is a call to all. Oh! Oh, babe! How you doing? New Siege Season's out and my account got hacked. That fucking sucks, man. What got hacked? Your uh, Ubisoft account or... Oh, no, they don't do Siege account. Yeah, that would be your actual Ubisoft, wouldn't it? How did that happen then? Was it like someone targeted you or just random? <laughs> Ooh, close. This is a call to all my last resignations. I haven't played Siege in over six months. Like, every time I say, oh, I want to get back into Siege, and I just don't. Because I realize how shit of a game it is. Since the developers just ruined the game. And I just can't get back into it. The fun factor, even last season, which I enjoyed a little more than some other previous seasons of Rainbow Six was still nowhere near the amount of fun that I used to have on Rainbow Six, and it just sucks. That a game that I put so many hours in and enjoyed so much just got completely ruined by crappy development decisions. And it is sad that a game can be ruined that easily. But is what it is, I guess. There we go. We got 11 grand. Level 4 now. Ooh. Uh, so we got a 10% discount on flywheel upgrades by Fidanza Europe. Nice.
I'm not even joking. I think I burnt my mouth earlier. <laughs> when I had dinner, I made a pizza, right? And as you know, the dough on the bottom typically gets warm, but it's never hot. The thing that's really hot is normally the oil that's in the cheese, right? That's the thing that gets really hot on a pizza. And where does the oil on the cheese normally go? normally floats to the surface, which is on the top. So you bite into a slice of pizza, you've got boiling hot oil that coats the top of your mouth, and you burn your fucking mouth. It's bad. And uh, I kid you not, after eating my pizza, I felt like skin peeling off in my mouth. It was fucking horrible. But I genuinely think I've given myself like third degree burns. Actually, it might be first. Which one's worse? First or third? I got a burn. <laughs> How many races in are we? I think we got this one in the Maple Valley. Come on, move out the way. Get out of my way. Whoa. Jesus Christ, that twin goes gunning for my ass. He's gotten the pass on me, though. remember when we went in. I really want to see um, Subaru, Citroen, all those companies make a return to WRC. Like, I'm not going to lie, WRC was a lot more exciting when there were a lot more teams in it. To have uh, Citroen take part would be awesome. Citroen have made some good cars, and I mean, they're already in WRC with um, WRC2, or the Rally 2 category. So what's stopping them from making a step back up to Rally 1? They could even have just one or two cars in Rally 1, and then have the rest of their cars in Rally 2. No problem. would be nice to see them make a return. Same with Subaru and Mitsubishi. But, I mean, Mitsubishi would be a bit more difficult because everyone's going for that hatchback design. I think they'd stick out like a sore thumb. I don't know. It might do, they might not. Counting at me. That, those god rays are unbelievable. The fact that it still works when you point the camera backwards. Stunning. The graphics of this game are phenomenal for a game that's come out 14 years ago. Can't count. 13. When did this game come out?
I'm also convinced that this game is running in 720p. Because there are some pixel artifacts that I'm seeing on this monitor. I think it's just the fact that this monitor is like a 1080p monitor. And 720 doesn't easily go into 1080. But I'm not 100% sure. I don't even know if uh, Motorsport 4 runs at 1080p. I think that's also 720. I have to confirm. Ow, ow. There we go, we got nine grand for that. Getting close to uh, level 40 something. Bang around. We feel the love. Oh shit. And we're off. Look at that wheel spin. Look how slow those wheels turn around. So, uh, one thing that I never really liked about the Forza games that much. Um, it, it's a minute thing. Um, well, it's not that I never liked it. It's just a feature that Forza has that I prefer the way that Gran Turismo does it. Uh, if you look at GT Sport and GT7, when you look at um, the tyre mechanics and the tyre physics, um, the actual tyres physically rotate in the game. So it simulates the actual tires rotating. Uh, whereas in these games, they seem to blur the tires uh, and then sort of predict how it would look based off of the camera's frame rate, which doesn't always work. Um, obviously, Gran Turismo, they add some motion blur as well, but they add it to the actual camera so that it blurs it and it's not... Um, What's it called? It's not just a filter of a blurry tire. It's not an image of a blurry tire. Um, it, it's fairly evident when you look at um, Horizon games specifically, where you can just turn the traction control off and absolutely rev the ass off of a really powerful car. Because you end up with, all of a sudden, an extremely blurry rear wheel while you've got a crystal clear front wheel and then all of a sudden the front wheel start blurring out all of a sudden it's a, it's a weird way that Forza does it um, and I assume it's how they optimize it but uh, Gran Turismo does do it a lot nicer especially when you're looking at replays I'm not even joking Gran Turismo replays are some of the most beautiful fucking things ever I'm actually curious when um, Sony's going to release the PS5 Pro because the PS4 Pro came out in 2016, right? And the PS4 came out late 2013. So in theory, in about two and a half years, they went through a slim revision and then the Pro console came out. Hopefully... We see maybe some point next year we see a slim model come out. And then potentially after that, maybe the year after, maybe two years after that, so five years into the PS5's life cycle, we'll see a pro version. What is up, Matrix? How are you today? Hopefully you're having a good day. But yeah, it's um It would be nice to see some um new stuff. I think Microsoft is actually doing it all right um, because they don't need 
they don't need a new system. They've got quite a powerful big console. If people want a smaller one, they've got the Series S. But I think when the PS5 Pro comes out, that's when Xbox might do two revisions. They might do like a Series Y. I'd like to see them do like a Series Y or whatever. A, a Series X predecessor. Predecessor? Successor? I don't know. I'd upgrade to the Series X, which is really powerful. And then like a Series S that's as powerful as the X. But the same form factor as the S. I think that would be quite nice to see as well. Because then you get like... The Series X performance in a tiny package. And then another next-gen version. I think that would be quite cool to see. Also, good to hear that you're doing amazing, Matrix. Good to hear, man. But yeah, in terms of games and gaming as a whole. The last two years have been fairly disappointing. Um, I do think we have COVID to blame, but we're in a situation now where COVID is gone, pretty much. We can go into... Sure, if people get COVID, they'll still self-isolate, but in general, we're all able to go and work in offices, no questions asked, so... I don't think there's any excuses for poor video games anymore, other than bad development choices now. Um, they can't really pull the old coronavirus card. Makes me more this time next week, by the way, chat, uh, anyone watching on Twitch, is going to be my last stream for three weeks. So, I won't be streaming for an entire three-week period. Which is crazy. But, by the time this video goes out, I think we'll already have started double uploads. Um, for two weeks during that three-week period, uh, I'll be uploading two YouTube videos a day so that nobody misses out on any content. So there'll be plenty of stuff going up while I'm away. Makes me want to give in. Makes me wanna give in. This is a good tune. For the Giver by Duke Dumont. Duke Dumont makes some awesome tunes. And there we go. Across thy finish line. I will take that. 13 grand. And we're now level 45 as well. Driver level 45. Not bad. We've got a Porsche number 7 Pensk Racing RS Spider Evo. Ooh, okay. Nice. Twenty one grand as well in bonus credits. That's awesome. 
Have a look and see how much. Is this a prototype, Bobby? Let's have a look. It's not. Got it. We gotta wait to level up again. We're gonna move on to the Asian tour next. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.